105.9 The Region. Mark and Rosie with you on World Radio Day, Rosie. World Happy Radio World Radio Day. Day. We're celebrating all things radio today. The whole world is, in fact, as it turns out, because it is World Radio Day. And there's a theme to World Radio Day. It is sports mm-hmm. and radio. And we've had a great day today chatting with people from the York Region government who have been giving us different aspects of health and sports and how it relates to a whole bunch of different things. Uh, totally. I mean, uh, if you're going to do sports, you've got to make sure that you feed yourself right. We did yep, that earlier. Right. Uh, that was uh, a very useful discussion about uh, fueling yourself to play the sport that you want to, right? And Sarah was a very uh, nutritionist. Very, very interesting. I could have listened to her all day with I Tips. <laughs> I know. These people mm-hmm. from York Region have big Ooh, brains stuff. about this. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, joining us now, this is uh, no exception to the experts that we've had all day uh, on World Radio Day, because today we're going to also talk about how to protect yourself. And one of the biggest things you need to protect, one of the most valuable things you need to protect is your head. Helmet safety is what we're talking about. And joining us now is Amanda Chan, public health nurse, York Region Public Health. Thank you for joining us, Amanda. Hi there. Happy World Radio Day. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Now, it's uh, it's great to have a sport uh, that you love, whether it's snowboarding or skateboarding or baseball or hockey or whatever it is. All of the ones that I named require a helmet to be completely safe. Uh, and uh, people still, I guess, are, are not taking to this. Is that the deal, Amanda? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of information out there. And, uh, you know, some things that, that could be learned for people to ensure that they are keeping their heads safe. Uh, one of them is to make sure that they're wearing the appropriate helmet for the sport or activity that you're participating in. Ah. So not all helmets are made for all activities um, because they are designed and tested to provide the best protection for specific activities. Um, so some helmets can cover more of the back of your head or are designed to protect against more than one crash, especially in activities where falls are more common. Now, you guys recommend that you buy a helmet that meets industry standards. How do you know that you have one of those? For sure. Uh, You look for labels that um, say CSA on it, which is the Canadian Standards Association, or CPSC, which is the Consumer Product Safety Commission, or SNEL from SNEL Memorial Foundation. And these are labels that will certify that a helmet has been designed and tested by the manufacturer to protect your head. Now, uh, protecting your head is one thing, uh, but uh, not even just protecting your actual skull uh, another thing that you recommend is uh, eye protection. Uh, yes, uh, for certain sports where they're flying objects, um, certain use goggles. And uh, if you are purchasing goggles and helmets, bring your helmets along um, in order to be able to find the right fit for the goggles because sometimes they don't always fit together. They're different styles and um and it's, and it's always better just to have everything there and make sure that everything fits before you make a purchase. Amanda, this last weekend we had with all the snow, there was a lot of tobogganing going on and sledding. And I have to say, I noticed, there, you know, some kids had helmets on. I couldn't tell if it was, you know, a, a snow sport helmet that I think is recommended for when you go tobogganing or a bike helmet. But kids should be wearing helmets, right, when they go. I mean, it seems like a fun thing just hurtling down the, the hill tobogganing. But you really should have a helmet on when you're doing that, right? Yes, yes. Even for, for winter sports, even or not even a sport, even act, an activity such as tobogganing, it is uh, better to have uh, something like a, a hockey helmet where it provides a, a lot of um, protection around your head. Um, and not only just the right helmet, but it's also important to have the right size and, of helmet for your head. Um, there are different size uh, helmets for children that come with extra padding. And... Uh, that way it will ensure a proper fit. And there are also special helmets for toddlers under the age of five years old. Um, and in addition to having the right size of helmets, uh, you also have to make sure that they're fitted properly. So make sure that the helmets are not tilted too far forward or too far okay. backward. And uh, yeah, once you have the straps all adjusted and attached, mm-hmm. just give your head a shake. And just to make sure that the helmet doesn't shift or, or fall off. And it just makes sure that the helmet is, is in place. Protect your head. Enjoy your sport. Amanda, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We were speaking with uh, Amanda Chan, public health nurse, York Region Public Health. Happy World Radio Day. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you.